Rob, congratulations. Your side have just won at the Valley. Um, what would you make of that performance? It's our side, Sam. Huh? It's our side. Our side. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it was brilliant. I mean, it was always going to be tough because of the way Charlton are. They're direct and we, they're physical and they put the ball in the box from everywhere and we had to stand up to it. And obviously, you know, on paper, losing Toby with the suspension, you'd think our biggest, most dominant centre-half. But the lads stood up to it so well. Switched off once, conceded a really poor goal. But um, the reaction to come back from that, uh, it was, that was my proudest thing today is that you know I think maybe before we might have faltered um, but we didn't and we, we stood up to it and we went on to win the game and I think that's fair play to uh, to, to Louis who was on the side and he wanted to be really proactive with the substitutions and we was and I think that helped you know helped us win the game Rushy and Ty and, and Rosey <coughs> and Brad coming on you know they helped to stem the flow and they also gave us that attacking option so you know really really pleased really really proud really so pleased for the club you see what it meant I mean it's incredible the amount of fans we had on a Tuesday night and the noise at the end. It was it was fantastic and never get too high. You know it's one win, which is great. But we need to play. We need to get ready for Stevenage now. But you know as a club, we've got to enjoy those moments because that's what everyone's done over the last two and a half years to come to places like this and enjoy them times. Yeah, it's so often seen in football, isn't it? You know, there's I think over ten thousand here tonight. Pull it back to one all out of nowhere. All of a sudden, the momentum completely shifts onto the home team. You know, there's you know it's very loud here at the Valley this evening. But credit to the lads, um, unbelievable character to sort of turn it around. And <laughs> Max with the poacher's finish as well. Yeah, do you know what? I think Max is an attacking player. And he's, he's, he's probably played deeper, but I think he's got a great instincts. He receives the ball so well in tight areas, and I and I really like to see him higher up the pitch. But he's doing a job for us at the moment. Um, again, I'll go through everyone, but I can't. Um, but that was just all exceptional. Um, you know, from Toller's brilliance, individual. I mean, we'll remember that for a long time. Uh, and then, obviously, the, the build-up to the goal. It's not just the finish, but it's the actual whole goal from from start to finish, from what I can remember anyway. Uh, it was just tremendous play. Uh, and and I think that's the thing. We have to have that bravery to play through teams and be aggressive. And, you know, it might go wrong, and that's fine. But, yeah, to come to the Valley, 10-plus 10, 10 thousand people, uh, ex-Premier League club, you know, my home club, you know, I know how much it, how important the football is to the, to the fans here and, and how hard it is is to come here and win so to do that just a uh, tops off a great night but all eyes on Pete, uh, sorry all eyes on Steven is now recovery rest uh, look at ourselves what can we do better what have we done well and continue from there the players of this side are growing game by game aren't they I mean you can probably go through the whole 11 that was probably Benjamin's best game in a quarter shirt Pan's growing in confidence with every game you can see Swanee's thriving with you know having Toda up there with him it, this is a side that is growing and starting to show what they're really capable of isn't it a hundred percent and I think the uh, it's not just the team, it's the squad game. And like you mentioned there, lads who maybe, you know, Brad would be disappointed not to start, but he's come on and helped us win the game. Benji's had been in and out and he's because he's adapting to English football, he's adapting to English life and he's such a great, great guy. Um, and, and obviously Tolls as well, you know, is his first real learning. So look, we're getting there and we're working hard and we just need to make sure that we um, continue that momentum. Uh, like I said, you can get humbled in this league very quickly. So, you know, I got a bit carried away with the fans there, which is hard not to do. Um, but we've got to enjoy these moments because we work hard for them. You know, we do work hard behind the scenes and um, I think the I'm so pleased for the staff not just the players I'm pleased for the staff we have, we're having a, you know people are mucking in left right and centre Ben the groundsman's lump locking in you have been driving things down and, and I think that a club of our stature in this league it takes every single person within the club and, and I think that's the thing I've been so pleased with yeah, you do have to enjoy these moments so much, but also we have to look at the bigger picture as well. Since Northampton, where it's you know probably our worst performance in recent times, we're unbeaten in the league. That was at the start of end of October. We you know we've gone through November unbeaten in the league. Yes, obviously we lost in the FA Cup on Saturday, but we're starting to pick up some real momentum. And you know what, as we've shown in the last couple, one point will turn into threes. You know, just like the Rotherham game and tonight as well. Yeah, definitely, and that comes with belief and mentality. So the lads have the belief that they will get the results. They are able to do it. And you know, when we come in, we had issues with scoring. You know, we started scoring then we had issues with conceding from set pieces and whatnot and we're slowly fixing that but um, we just need to make sure we keep doing what we're doing because it's working and we're doing well but you know let's also realize there's some very very good teams at the top of the table which we have to play soon so it's going to be a completely different battle and a completely different game but uh, you can only you can only you can only win the games right in front of you and right now uh, it's a great little run it's something to be proud of it's something to want to hold on to and not allow to get away from us and um, yeah and I, I was genuinely so proud of the lads I said I was a little bit emotional at one one because uh, sorry, at 2-1, because it wasn't just because we went 2-1 one, one up, it was because I saw a team that wanted to fight for each other, fight for the club, uh, and that was probably my proudest moment, seeing that just for that two, three minutes. Yeah, and we spoke about it a lot over the past few weeks, and you know, as the season's progressed, it's hard for a relatively new squad to the fan base to sort of even gel with between the squad and the fans, but wins like this are going to do the world of good, aren't they? I mean, it was over 600 Crawley fans here this evening, and every single player going over, giving it the fist bumps, including yourself, obviously. So <laughs> wins like this are going to build that relationship even more, aren't they? I think so, and yeah, the fist bumps don't come out very often for me, <laughs> but yeah, you've got to win in Rome. Um, but like, 
No, it is, and the connection with the club has been brilliant. And I think the one thing we're starting to see now, and I think the reason probably the fans and the results are coming, by the way, but also the fans uh, can get behind this team is because. Um, the work rate is, is immense and it's proper and I think um, if you're given everything if you fall short because your quality isn't there or another team's better than you like Saturday because Lincoln were better than us Saturday you can accept that as much as it's disappointing but you, re you regroup you go again and then we come into Cholton and we do the exact same thing probably with a bit more nous and you know we've had a few players back in the squad to help and you get a victory so it's about staying consistent and not getting carried away uh, and it's also about making sure that when we go on the pitch we give absolutely everything uh, we push ourselves to the limit and we tag out when someone needs to come on uh, and I thought we did that really well today as a squad and as a group Perfect, Mark um, Yeah, I heard sitting up there you could hear the frustration within the Charlton fans do you think that was down to your side's performance and how you played that frustrated them and sort of tempered Charlton's performance uh, you'd, yeah uh, look, I think obviously whatever's happening with Charlton at the moment and the fans and the frustrations is it's, it's not really our business or my business especially but I think yeah when you come to places like this you know big crowds big clubs and you can get the crowd sort of frustrated uh, you know you're doing something right and I think that's what we did well uh, and I think we need to make sure that you know when we are in these occasions again you know the Birmingham's the Bolton's the uh, well <laughs> you know, Blackpool, all of the, all the big clubs. We need to take that and understand that if you can, you know, stay in the game for the first 10, 15 minutes, which we did really well, because we got a bit of a, you know, it was very direct, and we got through the first 10, 15, then the game set was down, then we grow into it. So, no, I think um, it's a learning curve for us to understand of how to win at places like this. Because Reading, we were excellent, uh, but didn't win. Mm. Uh, and then tonight, we've learnt from that and adapted again and evolved again. So, um, yeah, really pleased. Yeah, and although there was a lot of bombardment at times from uh, Charlton. Jojo didn't have a lot to do, did he really? And uh, the defence, I thought, were absolutely magnificent. Uh, tremendous to a man, and, and Jojo as well, organising in start positions and these decisions with his kicking, when to pass, when to go longer. Um, and yeah, and I think for all that, probably all the areas, the ball time, in the areas the ball was in, it was never too clean. It was always second balls, balls dropping down. But that's what Charlton do, and that's what they're very good at. And we managed to negate that really well. We got to put our bodies on the line, we won headers, uh, and you know we put our foot in. You know I think we could have probably been a bit more physical at times, and I think that will come with belief. You know we, we we're physically better than we realise um, but yeah overall I think the way we turned the ball over when the ball did break and we made good passes and we played through the lines that was so pleasing because it can't always be clean against a team like Cholton when they go man for man when the ball breaks in transition and we play forward quick we get runners and then we get our combinations we, we, trans we transition from the edge of their box to the uh, from the edge of our box to the edge of theirs within three four passes and mm. that was just good play and willingness to run yeah and um how did that feel at the end? And as first time we've seen that sort of proper big celebration from you with the Crawley fans, how did that feel? Yeah, it's weird. I'm doing it at Cholton's. So it's a bit weird for me. But um, yeah, like you know, obviously I wouldn't mean it of any offence to Cholton fans, but no, it's just when you see that many fans there, and obviously the reaction, and and even when we went one one down, I thought like the big thing for me when I looked over, the fans were singing for the team because they knew that it was just it was one lapse and it was always going to happen. But they galvanised us and we went again. And I think mm. when you've got when you've got the fans and the players that are willing to work for each other and for the club. And, and back each other in, dark, in, in tough times that's when you do have nights like this because you know it could have easily gone 1-1-2-1 one, one, one. it could have been a, oh we did okay and then lost and maybe we would have done previously um, but now we've learnt from it you know uh, and we've got there to the point where we go on and we get the win and not just settle for the draw we go and get the win Brilliant, good luck Saturday Cheers, yeah. thank you Max, congratulations what a win here at the Valley Firstly, can I get your overall assessment of the game? Yeah, no, I think the, the boys battled well I think um, we just sort of, it wasn't a pretty game I would say I think for, for our standards I think we kind of just battled away um, it just showed that we could do two sides of the game, I think. Um, and then when we got our foot on the ball, got a few passes together, I felt like we were able to control it a bit better, um, albeit it became a bit scrappy come parts of the game. But I think once we got the, the second goal, um, the boys held on and got the win. Yeah, great character, wasn't it? Because it, their goal sort of came out of nowhere, I suppose. You know, we, we sort of were in control of the game and, you know, it's very easy for the lads to sort of have their heads down after that. And think how unlucky they are but I mean just showed brilliant character didn't we? Yeah no I think uh, as a group we kind of have that belief in each other that we can just go again like keep positive once the, that goal goes in one all I think we're still looking to go forward still trying to get that winner and um, not holding off trying to hang on for the draw I think we're just we know we're better than than what people give us credit so I think for us we just kept pushing on trying to get that win we did. Yeah a poachers finished from yourself so, um, you know Jeremy you know it, the keeper sort of pushed it to yeah. one side and it didn't look like anyone else was going to get there other than you. I think you read it so early. Is that something that you've sort of been working on and sort of talk us a little bit through the goal? Because, you know, you took it well, you still had a lot, still had a lot to do. Yeah, no, I think uh, once Jeremy hit the shot, I think um, I kind of just gambled like any sort of player would do. They say, just gamble and hope you get lucky and this time I did, I think. And then once the ball landed here, just put your foot through it and hope for the best and it goes in. <laughs> yeah, it was, Rob was just speaking to us there and he said that he's 
you know, been playing you in a deeper role, but he also sees you as an attacking player. And I suppose you've proven that, you know, in a couple of games now you scored obviously against Huddersfield yeah. as well. So is that something you're looking forward to, sort of playing slightly higher up the pitch? Yeah, no, I enjoy obviously getting involved in the attacks and trying to start um, passages of play and stuff as well. But I also like doing the other side of the game where obviously helping out the boys at the back and, and probably winning them second balls and, and jumping on and helping Jeremy out and and stuff so I think no, it's good to do both I think trying to evolve my game as much as possible get a few goals assists it's, it's what anyone wants to do is it yeah, yeah great momentum with Bullion as we said to Rob that, uh, since the Northampton game obviously that was one of our more disappointing results and performances of the season yeah. since then we're unbeaten in the league obviously we lost in the FA Cup yeah. on Saturday but it's a great bit of momentum we're putting forward two wins on the trot in the league as well yeah no, I think that's credit to just everyone on everyone in the squad everyone in the team I think that's that comes down to not just the starting 11 it comes down to everyone in, in amongst the team and I think that's just the togetherness that we're kind of creating so far I think being hard to beat is one of our main sort of goals I think um, not crumbling under any sort of pressure and trying to just stay by each other and, and I think that's what's kind of been working for us so far Perfect Mark Brilliant um, We were saying on the commentary after Taylor scored we were saying it would have been great if that was at the other end I hope the Crawley fans get a moment in the second half to yeah. celebrate that was down to you what was it like celebrating in front of them and scoring that Unbelievable goal? I think that's something they were incredible tonight I think the numbers they came it was brilliant I think it was they were loud the whole game and I just it was something else I think they were able to like sort of liven this place up a bit more um, and kind of helped us push for that win they did so they got what they came for I hope <laughs> yeah and what's it like coming to grounds like this because it is a fantastic stadium isn't it yeah and coming to grounds like this with the Crawley support and that and coming and getting a result is incredible isn't yeah it? no I think obviously the stadium's uh, brilliant I think that's uh, you could see it here um, but no I think the Crawley fans were able to kind of echo it I think um, and help us on in the dead so yeah, credit to them and uh, I hope they have a, a good night <laughs> yeah and it, it was really good to see Rob Elliott celebrate with the fans there how, how's, how is he gelling this team together because it seems like a real togetherness in this team yeah no I think obviously it was it was tough coming in um, but I think it's it's been good so far I think uh, we're just trying to keep building on each win and, and each result that we've been so far I think we're just trying to keep building put layers on it and then hopefully we turn into a decent side well we already are I feel so we've just got to keep building on that Brilliant, thanks.